All right, you guys. It's been a while. I'm back from Thailand. <sighs> Sponsored by Cola, Coca-Cola. Mm. We got something, excuse me, we got something new today. Let's check these out. I want to darken this. You can see these gel pens. They're by Parku. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's focus in there. Let's zoom in. Look at these, Parku gel pens. Now, what did interest me about these? First of all, there's three main colors I actually want to look at right here. This brown and this turquoise. And I'm a little bit interested about the green right here. But these are kind of pretty standard colors, but I saw these three and it interested me. So I was given these to review. And the first thing I saw is like, how well is a brown pen gonna write? And you all know me, I'm a gel pen, gel pen person. Take a look at these as well. So let's bring this case up right here. It's claiming it dries three times faster. You see that? It says it's gonna dry three times faster. We're gonna put that to the test on just standard paper and everyday use. As I said before, these are gel pens, medium point, 0.7. So these can be used for detailing and coloring. I always prefer finer ones that I draw with, but that's okay. It actually has some information on the back. Let's just take a look at these right now. So the tip's a ballpoint. I'm never usually a huge fan of ballpoints, but we're going to see how these work out. You know what? These are standard pen sizes. This writing length approximately one more than 1,312 feet. That's what it says. Oh, it's also got some information right here. Look at that. Attention, please. Do not give this to your onion if it's between zero and three. It's going to be a sad onion and stuff. Oh, and standard things, but let's take them out. Let's look at their build and feel and start coloring with them. See how well they write. Okay, I'm going to take these out. Okay, so conveniently hidden is the label on the sides of these. But this is an exceptional color. So as it shows, it shows the name, Parku 07, dries three times as faster. And it's more or less just a basic solid, solid shape. Mechanical, a mechanical tip, as you can see, it is a gel pen because it has that type of nib at the top right here. So let's just take that off. So all together, just holding it. Wow, holding it's actually really nice. You usually think when you have thin pens like this that they're going to be kind of like a cheap feel, a cheap build, but these aren't, they're not remotely as cheap as you would think. There's no weight to them, but pens like this, they don't really have much weight. Um, let's see if these could be refillable if I wanted to. Yeah, your standard gel reef, actually no. Let's see if I can pull this all the way out. Yep, if you ever so desire, you could completely refill this. Let's get this back in. Let's take a look at all these other colors, even though I'm just really excited with this brown. I don't think the camera's doing this justice, but this looks really, really bright. Like, really bright in the packaging. That's nice, okay. So, as you can see here, standard yellow one. Let me focus in on you. This is a nice long yellow feel. It's really smooth to feel. Mmm, really smooth to feel as well. Okay, so it's 14 pens in all. You know what, I think we're gonna see how 14 of these actually write. Let's um, get out our magic paper, not magic paper, actually just regular paper, and see how these feel. Okay, just get some more soda first. Now let's take out this brown one. I don't know why this one interests me so much, but it really does. So let's start with this. Oh, hello. Hello world. Hey, they're not lying. Look at that. This is a brown pen. You know, off the bat, you know like when you first have a paintbrush, it feels like paint. Like it feels really wet when it comes off of, comes off the pen onto the paper. Like just doing a broad stroke like that, it feels actually good, which is good. You know what, if I only had the brown one, I would do more of a review of this one, because this one actually just feels nice. And it's just an odd color to have, I think in terms of a brown pen. Um, when I looked at Sharpie pens, when I look at um, Pilot pens, when I look at those other ones that I um, see, even tool pens that I like, I don't see a brown color. Like, I can't honestly remember. I'm gonna have to go look at my other ones, but this brown one actually feels nice. And just, it just kind of, 
it moves down and it dries three times as fast or so. They're not lying. There's no smudges being left. That actually feels really good. So like I'm already, I'm already in love with the brown version of this pen. Let's all actually get some more pens up in here. So this other blue one, so this is what we'd call, this is a turquoise, let's pull that nib off. There we go. My goodness, really great. I would call this color, what, turquoise? How do you spell turquoise? T-U-R-Q-U-O-I-S-E. Yeah. That's, that feels good. Let's actually try drawing with these. Now, that's weird. What can, what can I draw? Like, just off the top of the, my head. Well, first things first, we're actually gonna make a house. We're just gonna make a giant building, see how that works out. Now, let's just do a house. So let's just start with some green. This green actually feels really nice as well, too. Now you see for fast coloring, it's fast coloring, no. This is something you're gonna want to do probably a little bit of small details with, but this actually works really well. I wouldn't suggest using these for everyday school use, even though they're they're for they're they're reasonably priced. They're twenty dollars. Links in the description to come buy them. But look at that, and they actually ship really, really quickly. Oh, if you guys were wondering where I was gone, I was in Thailand for three weeks and nothing wrong with Thailand, but it's great to be back just out there doing some humanitarian work for work but look at that feel that actually feels pretty feels pretty standard once you get into it right but like the very first initial time it just comes out like paint and so you're just really blown away okay so here's some grass let's just draw a dog now, I used to draw really well when I was younger. That's a dog, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a dog enough. So, all together, again, if you're writing with gel pens, like, this is not, this is not Parkour's fault, but, like, with any type of gel pens, you're going to want the proper paper because I can see the paper getting really, really wet. But, again, this is really, really thin paper. I mostly like finding pens that I can use for everyday use, and I think these are actually really good pens. Now, if you're going to use these these parku pens for everyday use, it's going to be coloring, and I know you're going to be using it on a much thicker paper than I am, so it's not fair to say anything bad about them on this, but this feels really good. It feels really, really good. Oh, there we go. That's dog, right? Here's its eyes. Oh, let me pull it off. There we go. Bark. Because that's what dogs do. They bark. Oh my gosh, it's not going to be a video if I don't use, if I don't draw a box. Now, this is the light green one in comparison to this. These are, this one just seems a lot more muted, like um, green peas. Green peas that you'd see in cartoons and stuff, right? Not the actual color of green peas, but that's what this reminds me of. Like when you see the Jolly Green Giant, things like that. That's what this one looks like. But uh, yeah, let's get into this box. Let's get some box action. And you see, again, I instantly pulled it off, and it's like it wants, it feels like it's just gonna gush out. Now, I guess that's the thing you get when you first start using these pens. And it probably is still like that, but like you're just now used to it. But yeah, just, just going like that. Let's just draw two lines of everyone. Take those pens off. Just going like that. Really great. Really, really great. Oh, goodness. Like, oh, wow. Okay, I didn't see this green. Or, yo, no, I did see this green. It's not the same green here. We had three greens. Oh, one fell down. That one looks more neon. But I do really enjoy how it's just kind of flowing right off of the pen. The initial time, it just feels so wet. And I think that's one thing you always want to have with gel pens is just that wet feeling. Not like the feeling you have with Bic pens. Bic pens, even the Bic gel pens don't feel like this. And that's a good thing. Um, the reason why Bic is in the lead, because they're the cheapest, right? The cheapest is usually in the leader. These ones are a comparable price. Um, you can get these on Amazon. You can get them on their website. Their website's uh, parku.com. Uh, please go check them out. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend these ones here, especially for writing. Holding it, I was going to, like, when I instantly saw how these were just simple cylindrical things, 
uh, cylindri <laughs> cylindrical pens, I always, always assume that the seam is going to cut into your hand and it's going to hurt. But nope. Nope, it's not the most, it's not, it's not completely flush, but it's nothing that's going to actually bother your hand, right? Like, yeah, this isn't bothering my hand whatsoever. And the fact that you're $20 for 14 of these, these are, I'll tell you what, they're way better than the Papermate flares. Because remember, the Papermate flares had no flare. These ones, they are simple plastic. And the simple plastic is definitely going to do the trick. There you go. Oh, Wow. Look at this, man, this navy blue, this midnight blue, this is a color. You know how some colors you just assume, but this blue is not representative of what is on right here. This blue is nice and rich. Isn't it fun when you just like notice something about pens and you get super excited over them? Like, I was not expecting this type of blue to come out of it. That's why now it's getting all my attention. I got two more colors, but look at that. Look at that. This is really good. I like that one. You know, standard black is black. And let's see. Hey, you know what? This yellow right here isn't actually that bad. Yellow is yellow. <laughs> and we're going to finish it off with my favorite one, brown. So that's actually really good. So I could highlight all these, but I'm really going to highlight this brown. I was really surprised to see how this looks when it is all dry like it is now. You know what? Like they said, it is dry. It does dry really fast. Three times faster. I don't have a stopwatch, so I can't really tell. You can hear my phone just going off like crazy in the background. But this looks. these look really good. So... I'm a fan of them. Um, if they had different versions or yeah, different colors and stuff, I would certainly check them out again. But this was really cool. Like, really, really cool. The li again, links in the description. Um, please, please check these out. Good recommendation from myself.